to here. Now, I've got a high grip. What do you think is great about the high grip? Right? His center gravity is high, but Paul is saying knees. What, why is this better for knees? Open. Man, he can't block! What's he gonna do? Block with his hand? <laughs> Maybe, but probably not. I'm gonna kill him. Come on, right? So the high grip with the underhook inside, we start here, we go one, we go two, right? Here. And then if you want, you put this hand on the other side of the head, and you've got a shoulder lock. And now you can hit him with both of these, okay? Now, a lot of you might be thinking, can't he get his arm out of there? Sure he can. Sure he can. From here, I hit him, right? I underhook, can he get his arm out? I don't know if I got him tight enough, right? Then I quickly move to this position. He goes to get his arm out, and I just put him to the ground. Cool? All right, the transition from here to one underhook this way is the easy way. Once you move the left hand, it doesn't move, it stays under. We pull, we press. Now the elbow, all I have is the shoulder. I've given everything else up. But now I can hit him in the face, I can hit him in the body, I can drive to the knees. Again, I'm controlling mostly just the arm. If he tries to pull out, I just drive him to the ground. Right? Land on his head, do whatever I need to do. Can we do that? This is our last one. Go from our regular grip to an underhook with the ride the elbow over the top. Give it a try. And throw some uh, knees in there while you're doing it. Get some knees in there. Go, go, go. Yeah.